So Jake, I, I got off on, you know, growth and staffing because Samad had mentioned something that, you know, made me want to ask that question, but I wanted to reel you back in a little bit as we were talking about um, social media ads and, and things of that nature. So I'm looking to add 25 to 30 new patients a month um, at my practice. What's my expected ad spend? Man, Zach, you got some good loaded questions. So there's a lot of variables that goes into your ad spend. When you think of your market, your competitive landscape, how much are your competitors putting out there driving up the bids? What's the demand on those bids? What are the average conversion rates and the, the average click-through rates? How many impressions do I need? Is my audience in my market big enough? And do I have a realistic budget that would compete in that space? So that's a very difficult question to answer on a very broad scale. But to give you a little example, last month, my clients averaged about a 37 on like a dentist near me type of campaign, just a general dentistry Google ad campaign where you're bidding on the keywords of relevance in proximity to the practice and dentistry. So not going after Invisalign, ortho treatment, big cosmetic and restorative cases. You're just bread and butter dentistry. You'll typically find the average conversion rate on a Google ad is going to be somewhere in the 8% to 12% range. And so your average cost per conversion, which is not a butt in your seat. Uh, so keep that in mind understanding how much do I need to spend knowing that my staff converts phone calls at the national average of 55 to 60% of new patient phone calls, 55 to 60% end up in my schedule. If you want 25 new patients on top of everything else you're doing and taking into account what Samad and I have been talking about as well with is your website ready to convert? Are your Google reviews ready to convert? And, you know, I, there's a lot of numbers and variables that go into this to really say, we will put our best foot forward and not use your money as a new client to test the waters. We're going to optimize the, the algorithm and we're going to optimize every dollar to your advantage. But understanding some of those basic fundamental metrics of Google ads, for example, you're typically going to want to spend about $1,000 on that type of a campaign to give yourself enough impressions at a 10% average conversion rate and knowing that your staff is converting about 55% of your leads. Now, I've seen practices that are so stinking good. Here's a little pro tip for you. I usually, we usually uh, wait for clients to sign up for this, to hear this stat, but we're data geeks. So I'm going to share a really golden nugget for a second. The average appointment scheduled on a phone call that results in multiple appointments. So the, you know, your average scheduled appointment call that has multiple people coming in from that single phone call is only 14% of the time that you have an appointment scheduled that it has multiple people on it. But when you ask the question at the end of confirming that first appointment before hanging up the phone, when you ask, and who else are we scheduling for an appointment today? When you can teach your staff to make that a habit, the percentage goes from 14% of those calls with multiple appointments to 37%. That's awesome. So I've literally had clients that they did not necessarily improve their close rate, but they improved the number of people on every new patient appointment coming in on the schedule. And they didn't have to change their ad budget at all to get 25 to 30 new patients. They just knew I am a family practice and I can ask that question to target more appointments. And sometimes it's who else on this insurance plan is needs to come in right now. Sometimes it's, and who else in your home are you scheduling an appointment for it? Because we know your time is valuable and it's sometimes easier to get them all in at once. So cool. those things, those types of things um, really are, are all really, really important for your marketing team to understand. And if they don't ask those questions, they probably don't understand dentistry and they're probably marketing for other industries and they don't quite grasp the value of a new patient phone call. Um, so those are some of the things that I typically look at is if you're wanting 25 to 30, 25 to 40 new patients on top of what you're already doing and you've assessed where you're currently at, but need that growth. I would also ask the question, you know, I had a client yesterday tell me, Jake, I spent $6,000 a month in Las Vegas for Google ads. I see 120 to 140 new patients without fail, but the quality is never where I want it. I want more cosmetic and Invisalign and restorative cases. And I said, well, hold on a second. You've got five doctors in your practice. You guys are a massive operation. Let me ask how many of your patients are coming from the hygiene side for those bigger cases versus how many are coming in off the street for a second opinion or a consult. And he said, oh, probably 90% established patients. And I said, why are you spending $6,000 a month going after keywords when you're getting very few people coming in off the street? Let's just spend half that and focus on a dentist geo campaign for general dentistry since your internal processes are dynamite and converting a ton of people over into the doctor chair. So sometimes the answer is not how much do I need to spend? The answer is what types of campaigns should I be running? And then you can back into your ad budget appropriately. Awesome. Great. That's, yeah, that's golden. Yeah, that's golden.